Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Behind me, I am in uh, Newport Ritchie right now, but behind me, we have a uh, AR240 Yamaha jet boat. And uh, let me just flip you around real quick. Okay, so as you can see, she's pretty beat up. Got a lot of oxidation. Overall, the boat looks good. We're out here to take care of the hull. And get rid of all this nasty oxidation. Both sides look really chalky and gross, but I can handle it. We'll get it knocked out, no problem. But I wanted to show you guys before I got started but that's what she looks like really nasty but nothing I can't handle so I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it out and we shall go from there all right guys I'm not gonna waste any time I gotta hop on this we got a long day ahead of us just knocking this one out and then I've got another one another vehicle to do today so I'm not going to be able to show you a lot of the process, but I will ab absolutely do a 50-50 tape line first and uh, show you guys what we're looking at for results. And uh, the main biggest issue is it's, it's hard to get this black to come out, but I'll, I'll straighten it out. No worries there. All right, I'm going to just uh, cut now and I'll bring you back when I've got some progress. All right, guys. So I did not bring any tape with me, unfortunately or got it at home however it's not hard to see the big difference between what i have polished and what i have not polished uh, i have polished this whole front end so you can see the big difference uh, i also polished just a little section of that black and the white so from that letter to uh, the horn and then up to here, just did a just a compounding pass. Looks a lot better. Looks black instead of this gray. So you probably won't see it till it's done. It might pop in when I get one side done, but uh, this is what you have to look forward to. So I'm gonna get back on it. All right, guys. So I've already compounded this black. It was really nasty. You, you saw it at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to give you a quick demo of the almighty gel coat oxidation eater compounding polish. Uh, if I can get any kind of focus. There you go. Anyway, so I've been working on this boat. As you can see, where have, I have done is awesome, but this area right here is not. So, what I do is I put a bead of product on, just like so. Set the product down. I'm going to have the lovely Tony hold the camera. I've got my double-sided wool pad. Uh, I will be carrying these at DetailJuice.com. So we've got the gel coat oxidation eater compounding polish already up there. You're going to pick up the bead, spread it around, and go to town. And that, as they say, is that. So I was running it at, I was running it at about 2,000 RPM. And uh, as you can see, that stuff cuts awesome. 
I have no problem removing P400 grit sanding scratches with the uh, gel coat oxidation eater. It cuts really, really well, but it finishes nice too. You can see how nice and bright that black is. And uh, for this detail, I'm leaving it right there. But generally, if it's a higher end detail, this is uh, prep for sale. Nothing fancy, just trying to get the oxidation off so it looks glossy so that they can maximize their trade-in value or, or whatever uh, the situ situation is. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys that demo of the gel coat oxidation eater compounding polish because it is fantastic. Um, I do have a more aggressive compound than that for gel coat in the works. However, it won't finish quite as good. So just your all around best compound is gonna be that. Uh, you can follow that with the gel coat finishing polish or the Solitaire, which is the gel coat all in one. Both of them will finish that very well if you need it on darker gel coat. Um, the only real reason you'd need to polish is to get rid of the holograms that the rotary polisher puts in. But uh, as far as the shine and the finish of that, that compound, for as aggressive as a compound as that is, it finishes awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. I just wanted to give you guys that quick demo of the gel coat oxidation eater compounding polish in the Marine series at detailjuice.com. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between. This was a prep for trade-in or sale or whatever you want to call it, detail. And it was really oxidized. As you probably recall, I got it looking fantastic. That black looks great. All I did was a compounding step with the uh, oxidation eater. And then I did some test spots with the universal all-in-one, which actually worked really well. Um, you'll notice, I'll stick the pictures here where I did this section right here with just universal all-in-one and a wool pad and it came out fantastic. That stuff cuts great. So got rid of all the nasty pink and now it's red again. So that's awesome. Uh, went ahead and hand polish the powder coating on the uh, wake tower top there didn't do a whole lot it was pretty oxidized had to use a machine wasn't part of the deal so didn't do that either um, so black looks great the hull looks awesome compared to how it did and uh, I'm very happy with that I'm actually stepping up my marine detailing game. I'm going to start focusing a lot more on the marine line and doing more boats and skis and all that stuff. That's my uh, boating is my passion. And I just I feel like over the years I haven't put enough effort into the marine side. And so that's the uh, natural way of evolution for me is to go with excelling at things I love so we'll be doing uh, a lot of boats moving forward and uh, have been lately so anyway it looks awesome if you got questions for me let me know but thank you guys so much for watching check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation it's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products my processes and what I've got going on you want to learn how to detail boats better than you already can or hell just learn everything from the ground up I can teach you that too but um, the group is a great place for product information, uh, detailing information, and uh, check it out. So uh, check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. And if you need me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Now I'll give you one more glimpse of this beautiful boat. Thanks for watching, guys, and for listening to me babble. Have a great day.